Let's talk about the Mac because let's cue your Mark Morrison, my friend, return of the Mac coming next week on Tuesday. And with that being said, the University of Buffalo, the Buffalo Bulls, we haven't talked about them too much this year other than an FCS team, Holy Cross, might we add, beat them on a crazy Hail Mary. And then really after that, they just turned it completely around. Five games in a row on a winning streak just to beat Toledo after coming back 24 points in the fourth quarter to win that football game. It was looking very bleak for them going into the fourth quarter. Very bleak, might I add. And UB turned it around. I know. I know my friends in Western New York are very excited about the University of Buffalo Bulls. Uh, I've I've got to start listening and paying attention to Paul Peck again, a, team, a guy that I used to pay <laughs> attention to all the time growing up in Western New York. Sure. Still, still doing it for the University of Buffalo. The leaders of the MAC now, very unexpected turnaround. But wow, how did this happen? I think it's it's a unit that just believes not only in themselves, but they believe in the playbook and and ha- and and in practices with Maurice Lindquist. I think I think they just buy in totally. They, they don't ever seem to lose their confidence, even when again they were zero and three. They lost their first three games. You read, you look at interviews, or you know, uh, you you read it in the paper. Nobody seemed uh, disappointed. You know, I, I think we're better than this, and blah blah blah. But they never were down. Their shoulders weren't slumping for three quarters. Okay, the best team on paper in the MAC is Toledo. Yes, you know, certainly offensively, but they're the best team in the MAC. They have the most talent. They have an, an a terrific quarterback UB just they got they they did what they had to they got a big interception at the end of the game right at the goal line to make sure that Toledo didn't break their hearts in the end sort of like we were talking about UTSA and North Texas North Texas had their hearts broken okay mm-hmm. I, I mean their spirit is broken they're a good football team they're well coached their spirit is broken and they're, they're going to just have to find a way to limp through the rest of the season. I mean, they, they could still go to some kind of a bowl. I think North Texas is good enough that they can get some kind of low level bowl. Oh, but, sure. Yeah, but UB against the best team in the Mac shut up all of the doubters. Oh yeah, fine. Yeah. Yeah. They, they've beaten some Mac teams, but you know, when they were really, but they lost the Holy cross, you know, Again, Holy Cross, another testament to Holy Cross being higher in the FCS standings. But to do that in the manner that they did shows that you be okay. We're pro- this is probably the prelude last week for what the MAC championship game is going to look like. I think UB now has the confidence where, and they, you know, and the swagger where, where they're not going to let themselves get beat. I'm not saying they're going to win pretty, but. You know Maurice Lindquist. He's a, he's a hell of a coach. I mean, he, he was he was on the staff at Michigan. Getting him there, I think, was a huge windfall. Lindquist at Michigan plays a lot of MAC teams early in the year, so he was familiar with rosters and programs. So it really wasn't too much of uh, him having to get in, in step going from a Big Ten school down down to a MAC level program. I think it helped him because he knew the conference pretty well, at least a, a bulk of the conference. A lot of transfers from the MAC go to Big Ten schools as well. So it, it was it was it was a team win. And that's what I think makes it special. And I'm I'm so happy that this is happening. You know, again, you, I mean you're from Western New York. I lived in Western New York for several years. I have two very close friends that are just beside themselves that this turnaround has happened. And I'm so happy for them. And the fans, you know, college sports fans in Western New York are terrific. They, they really are. They are so loyal. And it doesn't matter what the weather is, doesn't matter what the win-loss record is, they turn out and they support their sides. And that's what makes this UB turnaround story so terrific. And for them to have that fourth quarter comeback, Wow. 